Good day children, Sai Ram. Today I will continue with the explanation of chapter number 13. Little girls wiser than men part 4. Uh, children, this is the author of this story. In the last class I have already given you all information about him. His name is Leo Tolstoy. Okay, now uh, children, uh, in, the, uh, in the last class we got introduced to these two little girls. Akulya, the slightly older girl and Malasha, the younger one. They had worn new frocks on the occasion of Easter. And they happened to meet on their way back home from the church. They started playing by splashing the water in the lane. Now Akulya warned Malasha to make sure that she doesn't get her clothes dirty. Malasha stepped into a deep puddle and was scared. Since the water came up to her ankles. Now let's see what happened after that. I'll read the next paragraph and as always first I will read Second time, you all will repeat after me. <clears throat> okay. Come on, replied the other. Don't be frightened. It won't get any deeper. When they got near one another, Akulya said, Mind, Malasha, don't splash. Walk carefully. Now Akulya told Malasha not to worry since the puddle would not get any deeper. But she also warned Malasha again not to splash in the water but walk carefully so that the clothes don't get dirty. Okay, now repeat after me children. Come on, replied the other. Don't be a f don't be frightened. It won't get any deeper. When they got near one another, Akulya said, "Mind, Malasha, don't splash. Walk carefully." Okay, now uh, now next paragraph. She had hardly said this when Malasha plumped down her foot so that the water splashed right onto Akulya's frock. The frock was splashed with mud and so were Akulya's eyes and nose. When she saw the stains on her frock, she was angry and ran after Malasha to strike her. Malasha was frightened and seeing that she had got herself into trouble, she scrambled out of the puddle and prepared to run home. Okay, now repeat after me children. She had hardly said this <clears throat> when Malasha plumped down her foot so that the water splashed right on to Akulya's frock. The frock was splashed with mud and so were Akulya's eyes and nose. When she saw the stains on her frock, she was angry and ran after Malasha to strike her. Malasha was frightened and seeing 
that she had got herself into trouble she scrambled out of the puddle and prepared to run home okay now before akulya could finish warning malasha about not splashing the water malasha put her foot down in the puddle so heavily that it covered akulya's new dress with mud not just the frock but her eyes and nose also got dirty with the mud akulya got very angry and when she saw the stains on her new frock and she got so angry that she ran after malasha to get hold of her and strike her now malasha got scared when she realized that she had got herself into trouble by splashing the water onto akulya's frock she quickly moved out of the puddle and got ready to run as fast as she could back to her house okay just then akulya's mother happened to be passing and seeing that her daughter's skirt was splashed and her sleeves dirty she said you naughty dirty girl what have you been doing malasha did it on purpose replied the girl at this akulya's mother seized malasha and scolded her malasha began to cry and she could be heard all down the street her mother came out okay once again i'll repeat you'll repeat after me just then akulya's mother happened to be passing and seeing that her daughter's skirt was splashed and her sleeves dirty she said you naughty dirty girl what have you been doing malasha did it on purpose replied the girl at this akulya's mother seized malasha and scolded her malasha began to cry and she could be heard down, heard all down the street her mother came out okay now while akulya was chasing malasha akulya akulya's mother happened to be passing by she thought that akulya herself had made the frock and sleeves dirty she called her a naughty and dirty girl and asked what she had been doing akulya said that it was malasha who had done this and that too on purpose on hearing this akulya's mother caught hold of malasha and scolded her malasha started crying upon being scolded she cried so loudly that she could be heard all the way down the street malasha's mother came out after hearing malasha cry what are you scolding my girl for she said and began scolding her neighbor one word led to another and they had an angry quarrel 
द मैन केम आउट एंड अ क्राउड कलेक्टेड इन द स्ट्रीट एवरी वन वॉज शाउटिंग एंड नो वन वॉज लिस्निंग दे ऑल वेंट ऑन क्वारलिंग एंड द अफेयर हैड वेरी नियरली कम टू ब्लोज वेन अकुल्याज मदर अकुल्याज ओल्ड ग्रैंड मदर स्टेपिंग इन अमंग देम ट्राइड टू काम देम वॉट आर यू थिंकिंग ऑफ फ्रेंड्स is it right to behave so on a day like this too it is a time for rejoicing and not for such folly as this i repeat again what are you scolding my girl for said she and began scolding her neighbor one word led to another and they had an angry quarrel the men came out and a crowd collected in the street everyone was shouting and no one was listening they all went on quarreling and the affair had very nearly come to blows when akulya's old grandmother stepping in among them tried to calm them What are you thinking of friends Is it right to behave so on a day like this too It is ta- it is a time for rejoicing and not for such folly as this Okay now Malasha's mother got angry with her neighbor for scolding her daughter and in turn scolded her neighbor that uh, that is akulya's mother the fight got worse and even the men came out a crowd gathered around the quarreling men and women everybody was only shouting at one another and nobody cared to listen to what the other had to see when things got even more bad akulya's wise and old grandmother stepped in to calm everybody down she tried telling them that this behavior was very wrong and they shouldn't fight like that especially during easter when everybody should rejoice and be happy and and definitely not fight see children this is how the adults were fighting with each other in the middle of the street okay children that's all for today i will continue with the explanation in the next class till then revise whatever you all have learned thank you children